Trojan Battery, Deep Cycle Battery Maintenance. Getting started. Trojan Battery Company's market-leading products bring outstanding value to various applications that demand reliable power. We power everything from golf carts to industrial boom lifts. The key to achieving maximum performance and long battery life is solid care and maintenance of your batteries. The following are important maintenance procedures to help you get the best return on your Trojan battery investment. Before we begin, you should have the following basic equipment on hand to perform the tasks discussed in this video. A wrench, distilled water, voltmeter, hydrometer, post cleaner, baking soda, petroleum jelly or protectant spray, goggles and gloves. It's imperative to exercise safe practices when working with batteries. Always wear protective clothing, gloves and goggles when handling batteries and electrolyte. Additionally, never smoke or have any open flames near batteries. Inspection. All batteries should be carefully inspected on a regular basis in order to detect and correct potential problems before they can do harm. It is a great idea to start this routine when the batteries are first received. First, examine the outside appearance of the battery. Look for any cracks in the container. Check the top of the battery to ensure the posts and connections are clean, free of dirt, fluids, and corrosion. Any fluids on or around the battery may be an indication that electrolyte is spilling, leaching or leaking out, and should be repaired or replaced immediately. Battery cables and their connections should be intact. Broken or frayed cables can be extremely hazardous and should be replaced. Make sure all wiring connections to terminals are set to the proper specifications. The correct specifications can be found on our website www.trojanbattery.com and in your maintenance brochure. Do not over tighten nuts on terminals as this can result in post breakage, post meltdown or fire. Testing. Visual inspection alone is not sufficient to determine the overall health of the battery. Both open circuit voltage and specific gravity readings can give a good indication of the battery's state of charge, age and health. Routine voltage and gravity checks will not only show the state of the charge, but also help spot signs of improper care, such as undercharging and overwatering, and possibly even locate a bad or weak battery. A step-by-step -step outline on how to perform each of these tests is located on our website and in your maintenance brochure. Watering. Flooded batteries need water. More importantly, watering must be done at the right time and in the right amount, or else the battery's performance and longevity can suffer or acid leakage can occur. Water should always be added after fully charging the battery. Prior to charging, there should be enough water to cover the plates. If the battery has been discharged, partially or fully, the water level should also be above the plates. Keeping the water at the correct level after a full charge will prevent having to worry about the water level at a different state of charge. To water your battery, follow these simple steps. One, first open the vent caps and look inside the fill wells. Two, check electrolyte level. The minimum level is either at the top of the plates or to the bottom of the built-in watering indicator if this applies to your battery's format. Three, if necessary, Add just enough water to cover the plates or to cover the bottom of the built-in indicator. Four, next, put batteries on a complete charge before adding any additional water. Five, once charging is completed, open the vent caps and look inside. Six, add water until the electrolyte level is either one eighth inch below the bottom of the fill well or to the fill line for batteries with a built-in indicator. 7. Finally, clean, replace, and tighten all vent caps. Some important items to remember. Do not let the plates get exposed to air. This will corrode and thus damage the plates. Do not fill the water level in the filling well to the cap. This most likely will cause the battery to overflow electrolyte. 
Consequently, the battery will lose capacity and also cause a corrosive mess. Do not use water with a high mineral content. You should use distilled or deionized water. Be advised that electrolyte is a solution of acid and water, so skin contact should be avoided. Lastly, never add acid to a battery. Depending on the local climate, charging methods and applications, Trojan recommends that batteries be checked once a month until you get a feel for how thirsty your batteries are. Cleaning. Batteries often attract dust, dirt, and grime. Keeping them clean will help you spot trouble signs if they appear and avoid problems associated with grime. To keep your battery operating at its optimum level, use the following cleaning routine. First, check all vent caps to make sure they are tightly in place. Clean the battery top with a cloth or brush using a solution of baking soda and water. While cleaning, do not allow any of the cleaning solution or other foreign matter to get inside the battery. Next, rinse with water and dry with a clean cloth. To clean battery terminals and the inside of cable clamps, use a post and clamp cleaner. Clean terminals should have a bright metallic shine. Reconnect the clamps to the terminals and thinly coat them with petroleum jelly or a protectant spray to prevent corrosion. Lastly, be sure to keep the area around batteries clean and dry. Storage. Batteries should be stored in a cool, dry location, protected from the elements. Keep in mind that long periods of inactivity can be extremely harmful to lead-acid batteries. When placing a battery into storage, follow these recommendations to ensure that the battery remains healthy and ready for use. The most important thing to avoid is storage in extreme temperatures. Avoid locations where freezing temperatures are expected. Freezing results in irreparable damage to a battery's plates and container. Keeping a battery at a high state of charge will also help prevent freezing. Also, avoid direct exposure to heat sources such as radiators or space heaters. Temperatures above 80 degrees Fahrenheit accelerate the battery's self-discharge characteristics. Be sure to completely charge the battery before storing. During storage, monitor the specific gravity for flooded batteries or voltage. Batteries in storage should be given a boost charge when the change of charge falls below 70%. When reactivating a stored battery, be sure to completely charge it. And for optimum performance, equalize flooded batteries before putting them back into service. Detailed information on how to equalize flooded batteries can be found on our website and in your maintenance brochure. Charging. Correctly charging batteries requires the right amount of current at the correct voltage. Most charging equipment automatically regulates these values. Some chargers allow the user to set these values. For proper charging, refer to the instructions included with your charging equipment. Here are some important items to remember when charging your battery. Become familiar with and follow the instructions from the charger manufacturer. Battery should be charged after each use. Remember that lead acid batteries do not develop a memory effect and need not be fully discharged before recharging. Be sure to charge only in well ventilated areas. Keep sparks or flames away from a charging battery. Always verify that the charger voltage settings are correct. Be sure to check electrolyte level. Tighten all vent caps before charging. Do not overcharge or undercharge the batteries. Never charge a frozen battery. Avoid charging batteries at temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. We at Trojan Battery Company are proud to offer such a wide array of products. In order to assist you in finding the perfect battery solution for your needs, we developed our online battery selector. By clicking on the battery selector link, we will easily guide you through the process of choosing the best battery for your needs. You can also access all of our product specifications and answers to any battery questions you may have. At Trojan Battery Company, we take great pride in the quality and craftsmanship of our deep cycle battery products. 
We also know that our customers want to maximize performance of their batteries by keeping them properly maintained. With routine care and maintenance, your Trojan battery will outperform any other. For more in-depth battery maintenance information or answers to frequently asked questions, please visit our website at www.trojanbattery.com under technical support or refer to your deep cycle battery maintenance brochure supplied to you by your dealer.